as always, thanks for your time. Caretaker gets the ball rolling for your turf and tain on Saturday. And uh, Caretaker had a, a rather decent debut, I would think, behind King Raul. Yeah, look, I think he had a decent debut run. He showed a fair amount of speed, but he didn't look like um, he was really comfortable leading, uh, which made us think he'd probably be better over a little bit further. I do think he's probably going to be best when he goes over a 1400, uh, but he came into a reasonably good draw over the 12. Um, and you know they don't earn money in the box so it'll be nice for him to have his second start see what type of improvement he's made from his first run uh, but I do think he's also it's going to be better over the 14. He wasn't heavily supported at all in the betting but he wasn't completely friendless I mean he was sort of steady at six seven to one. No look he's a nice looking horse he's really well put together but we knew first time out that it was way too short um, so obviously stepping up the extra 200 we want to see how much of an improvement he can make with that step up in trip but uh, we do think that the 1400 will be better suited to him. OK, then secret recipe. When you're looking at form grids, everybody likes to see the green, but you've got two yellow marks behind your name, which means two consecutive seconds uh, looks cherry ripe. Yeah, look, she's been knocking on the door. Um, she's a horse that I think probably would prefer the inside track. So, you know, she's got a good draw in her fa favour, right trip. Uh, it looks like this, this race is the right type of race for, and we're hoping that she can get that maiden win under the belt. OK, there are not many races over 3,000 metres, but if you look at the pedigree of Breeze Over, uh, there's Giants Causeway in the dam line, and there's every reason to believe that Twice Over will throw a horse that'll get that trip, and you're better off at the weights with Mambo come uh, Tessio. Yeah, look, I think if there were more races over 3,000 and further, they may be supported a little bit more. Um, I think a lot of the guys, because there aren't a lot of races over the, the further distances, um, we don't really support them because you're not sure whether your horses stay or not. So if they were more available, I'm sure they would be more supported. Um, so that's probably the question mark with him, whether he's going to see the 3,000 out or not. Um, saying that he is a horse that looks like that's what he's absolutely dying for. So Breeze over committed early, has gone about three lengths ahead, absolute value, positive attitude behind that. Banner Bridge is trying to wear them down, got a few lengths to find on the leader. Breeze over as they race past the 200, Banner Bridge over to use on the outside, absolute value, looks to come back along the inside. Mumba Comtesio running on, Breeze over, still game though, over to use trying to wear it down, absolute value, Mumba Comtesio gets going right now and Mumbo Camtesio beat Breeze over. We better off at the weights to Mumbo Camtesio uh, but I say the only question mark is the 3000 um, but I've always thought that he's the type of horse when he goes over this type of trip he would enjoy it. Uh, his work at home has been very good. I must say over the last two months he probably hasn't he hasn't put a workout where I've been unhappy with. He's really just a horse that's coming to his own. He's a horse that we thought as four and five would probably start to see the best of him. So it'll be nice if we do see that on Saturday. So you're not going to die wondering. Um, you're probably going to see if he stays and then maybe put him away for the end of the year with some of the big staying races. Look, I'm confident with his well-being. The question mark is, is the 3,000 what he's looking for? But it is what we think he is.